Hello, my name is Elizabeth Quinn, and this is Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we get to review the Scentsy Briggs. They came in a day early. I have not sniffed these. I just got them, and my child, who shall remain nameless behind the camera, has been working very, very hard to set everything up. I have a 120 pound German Shepherd at my feet, so if there's a knock at the door, we might have a little bit of barking, but anyway, we're all here, and we're gonna have a good time. First off will be Fluffy Fleece, and Sensi says, black currant, cozy musk, and heliotrope. And I can't take credit for knowing what heliotrope is specifically. I've heard other reviewers that say it's a purple flower. I knew it was in the floral family, but I'm not really a laundry person. I like fresh-ish, so we'll see how this is. Maybe. Ooh, no, this is pretty. This is pretty, that's the best word for it. And it's stuck, oop, there we go. It's pretty, it's floral, it's gentle. It is fluffy, just like it says on the package, fluffy fleece. I don't know if it'll be my favorite because I'm not exactly a freshy laundry girl. It is very huggable. So, pink poinsettia, and Scentsy says, crisp plum, blackberry, and pomegranate. And again, I'm not really a fruity pomegranate. I'm not really a pomegranate prosecco person. Let's see. Oh, but I do like this. This is pretty. It is only floral. I mean, it's only fruity. It's not floral. It's kind of medium to medium light. I think fluffy fleece might be medium. This is nice. Neither of these are really my kind of smell, but they're very, they're very pretty. Spice eggnog. Now, I have been waiting for a Scentsy eggnog scent. I know a long time ago they had one in Scents of the Season, but I wasn't melting at that point, or I was just starting to melt, and I didn't really know about all the different collections. I love to drink eggnog. Here where we are, we get Guernsey eggnog, which is just like the world's best ever. So let's see what Scentsy says about how this one is supposed to smell. Ground clove, buttered rum, and creamy eggnog. And I don't know if the buttered rum will mess with me because I just like eggnog eggnog. No, this is pretty and good. It's smooth. Oh no, the bottom smells just right. Mm. The bottom smells like what you want. And everybody keeps saying there's lots of rum down there, so I guess I want lots of rum even though I'm not a drinker. This is delicious and it smells a lot like the Guernsey eggnog. I get that little bit of clove. I really like this one. Next, we have the controversial brick in the pack. It's the sweet orange pomander. And by the way, the mystery of the pomander revealed. A pomander is an orange that you stud with cloves. It's an old fashioned craft. Sometimes I have piles and piles of them in bowls with greens around the house at Christmas. So I hope that this smells really good. It is a personal oh, favorite of mine to have that orange clove cinnamon mixture of scent. Sensi says sparkling clove, cinnamon stick, and sweet orange. And I like spice. I'm not afraid of spice. It is very cinnamon, but it's not at all offensive to me. I like it a lot. I am really going to like this, but I personally love cinnamon and clove, and I personally love cinnamon bear. So this is right along those lines with that little hint of orange. I really like that. And last but not least, we have a vanilla cinnamon maple, which is a cinnamon stick. Maple and whipped cream, according to Scentsy. And I like all things that have maple. I like all things that have cinnamon. I loved Autumn Blaze maple years ago. I kept hoping that we would see that back for a Bring Back My Bar, but not so far. Oh, this is probably my favorite. Oh, this smells like a popcorn bowl that you make at Christmas. Yeah, at least on the top. On the bottom, it smells more like a chai latte. Oh, I, this might be my favorite. This and the eggnog, I think, are going to compete for my favorite. Oh, man. So, vanilla, cinnamon, maple. Wonderful bakery. Lots of maple. Nice and rich. I'm going to love this. 
And by popcorn ball, what I mean is you take all that syrup and you dump it in a bowl with your popcorn and you crunch it around with the butter on your hands and you make those little balls and then you cellophane them and you put them on your tree. That's what the top of this reminds me of. So I think that and the spice eggnog are, are tied for first place. I love them both. And then when this is warmed, I'll know more about this. I really, really do like this. I don't think that this one needs to get as much negative press, at least if you're a spice lover. It's very nice. And then I think this one would come next as far as kind of toward the bottom of the pile for me, because I'm just not so much the fruity and fresh girl. And this, for the type of scent it is, is lovely. It's just not my thing. So I'm gonna put that one at the bottom. Thank you for spending some time with me. Again, my channel is Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, and my actual Scentsy website, because I just started selling a week ago, is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us. Thank you for spending some time with me, and we'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day.